Good afternoon. Happy Labor Day, fellow minimalists. Just Jeremiah here riding through downtown Bend. I'm at the uh, water park, which isn't the water park you would expect. It is, which I'm sure you've seen already, but check it out. Uh, there's a wave to surf. The, uh, the wave that's formed, yeah, you can surf it. I'll show you. Coming by on the left, hello. This guy was going in and he fell out. Next guy's turn. Gotta learn somehow. Well, you can't see much. Oh, there's a kingfisher. I love kingfishers. It's beautiful up on that pole. A little bulldog bird. So yeah, I'm enjoying Labor Day. I got some bacon cheeseburgers to cook off. Look, kingfisher right there, bam. Bend is nice, huh? This is pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm excited to start working and have like an income and be living outside and have that dichotomy. I love that dichotomy of like working inside and relying off of that stuff while like living outside. And the spot where I'm gonna work, it's on the river, so. I think I'm gonna turn down the golf course job, which is five minutes away, which sucks, cause man, that's so close. But I just don't think the money's good enough for my time. And oh man, the Belgian place looks nice. They're overlooking the sunset too. Wow, that's really nice. Over there's the concert venue. Incubus played the other day. Man, in this little tiny town, that's awesome. Uh, it's not a tiny town, but it's a tiny concert venue. Look. Yeah, these girls are swearing like sailors. They're 12, flying by on a $1,500 electric bike. See, I'm going to the downtown River Bend Park. Wow, look at all these people. Holy shit. They're just partying there on the side. I don't blame them. Here's the outlets on the left at the middle. That's where the REI is. REI's big sale ends today. It was so hard not to buy like the Nemo backpack that I lost or the Nemo tent that I lost or all that stuff. It's 20% off of 600 is a lot, but it's just not my money. Sheesh. Bathing suits out there. These girls have no modesty. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Bastini. See these river views, that's like, again, facing the sunset. You got the, the concerts right across the way. What is this place? I should work here. Greg's Grill. Yeah, I should try to work there on the side. So basically I'm riding a bike. I said it, I woke up this morning Played on my phone until I ran out of battery. It turns out I didn't turn my uh let me turn this around. I didn't return my uh solar panel in time. So even though it never worked, I don't think I can return it. So I'm gonna be like, dude, I bought like five of them. You know, I literally bought I think this is my fourth one gonna be like dude it's a good product I didn't get it good sorry but would you please hook a brother up there's got to be a warranty or something but so the solar panel it takes like it would take like 40 hours to charge my phone it's not even that many hours of sunlight in a day let alone direct sunlight turning it back around so once I start my jobs I'll be able to just bring in my portable chargers my power banks the two of them 
And uh, this is so cool. You can see the mountains in the background and the smoke right again. That's a nice raft. Look at that. I'm just saying it because it's a bunch of women. I want to be on it. But yeah, I'll be able to charge my phones and stuff, but I'm like out of battery, out of juice, just sitting there, just waiting to start my new job in two days. And it's been like a six day wait. I'm like, man, four days in, I'm getting really bored. Just, you know, sitting here. I'm staying busy. Yesterday I didn't. The day before I kind of didn't. But yeah, so I went to Starbucks and sat there for like four hours and charged my phone and my battery pack enough for the day. And then I went and I got some Wagyu beef patty uh, burgers, and some peppered steak and pepper jack cheese, some whole wheat buns, garlic, salt, pepper, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I'm going to make myself some all-American burgers on the river at the park. be cooler if I was with someone. I'm looking through the dating sites and stuff. Uh, you know, and I'll make friends once I get to my new job. But it's tough. I mean, I don't know if you've done the dating sites or not, but I've literally done it for like over a decade now. And what I've learned is just not to try too hard. Because until you like know them, you met them, and you're on a first name basis, first name basis, and you remember where their parents were born and all that crap, they're just some internet person, and they've got plenty of others. So, yeah, I don't put much into the internet dating thing. I got to go out with it, uh, Bree the other night. Oh man, I'm not sure if she considered it a date, but. Like I said, that's like my big crush. I can't, I keep thinking about her. Uh, you know, not that I assume that we're going to be able to like smash out anything. She travels around. She's a psychologist. She does it digitally, virtually. Uh, but yeah, she she has her life and her own thing and what she does. But I really like her. And the first time I met her, she was still interested in this guy who just left. Uh, who was at the Rainbow Gathering. And, like, I'm super flirty and I'm open with her about the fact that I like her. And then, this time I saw her just the other day, she's going to meet this other guy that she knows that she likes a lot. And it's not like she's just all over a bunch of different guys. It's the fact that she's not. And she's not trying to, like, yeah, uh, pursue anything with me while uh, she's got stuff going on with other people. And I can respect that. But I'm like, dang. I like the fact that she travels and she does YouTube and she uh, super sweet, very smart, driven and adventurous. And so, yeah, she's super cool. I'm going to keep my eyes on her. Uh, but yeah, I've been bored here. And so the bike riding thing has kept me in better shape mentally and emotionally than I think I would be if I were to just like sit here and do nothing. But yeah, I get tired. Yesterday I was tired after that big long 30 mile bike ride I did the other day. Man, I wish I got more footage inside of that lava tube. That was so cool. Two mile round trip hike inside of a lava tube. Have the 33 miles bike riding. So I'm headed down to this cool park. Gonna use my little camp stove cook some burgers and I guess I'll show you that process I should just take that it's like a little picnic table to the side but I kind of want to be by the beach where I can people watch yeah you know me uh, I need an air mattress but I don't want to go too big but I don't want to go too small I got a camp shower coming, that's cool. 6.6 gallons, I can go and fill it up. That'll give me three showers. Cool, I'm at the park. I don't, I don't wanna make it seem like I'm shoving the phone in people's faces. I'm gonna let you go, loving you, you know that. Take care. 
And here we go. We're working on the burger. Gotta put this one here. Yum. Got bacon, condiments, the cheese. Yeah, that's what's going on. And I'm just chilling by the river here. The beach was cool. I'd rather go to a little spot by myself though, to the side, than just sit at the beach. So here I am, cooking burgers by the river, so I can have a memorable Labor Day. Fun time. Yum. And I'm taking a different trail home and I love it. This is nice. The Chutes River Trail. I don't see anyone tubing down this part. Ha. Let's see what else I can find.